says pump the water in this system. I've got a few choices. I've got uh, this itty bitty power head submersible pump. Um, I don't think this will be able to provide enough lift for the height I need. Uh, I've got this bigger one, which I know will do the job, but it puts out a lot of flow. And I've got two air pumps, which I could use for an uh, airlift. Um, smaller one and then this beefy one. Um, this guy is probably far larger than I need. This guy might even be bigger than I need, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just work with this. Uh, the major downside of the submersible pumps is that if they run dry, they overheat and burn out, which is very likely in this system because I have a very small reservoir. So I'm going to stick with the airlift. Uh, if it runs really low, the airlift will stop working, and the plants will die if I don't address them quickly, but uh, it won't kill my pump, at least. The concept of an airlift is as follows. There's an air pump which produces pressurized air, which goes under the water and makes bubbles. These bubbles are trapped in a tube which also brings in water. Each bubble carries a small amount of water up to the desired location. Um, this area here is the uh, tricky part to design. There's a lot of different approaches. Um, I'm going to have to fiddle around and figure out something that'll work. So I'm going to try to get this system going. I'm going to skip the complexity of this top vessel and just try to get it running um, as a drip system. I'm running into problems with the airlift because it's a very sh shallow bottom bucket. An airlift needs some depth. I'm just going to be using this pump. Hopefully I don't kill it, but I only paid five dollars for it. Uh, it's a $10 pump, but uh, it's missing some parts and was on the clearance rack at the local hydro store. So I'm just going to put this in the bottom DWC bucket, maybe stick in an air stone, connect to a uh, air pump, and then have this pump pump up and drip into this tray. From the pump, I've got this hose, which I made a little manifold with a few T's. At the end of each, there's these, this little mister nozzle. These don't really mist at all with this uh, low-pressure pump, but it will work as a dripper. Now I'm going to plug it in, and this is the first time I plugged it in, so uh, I don't know what's going to happen. That's the flow I get out of these. I think that's that's pretty good. I think it's going to drain at a similar rate. I added four liters to the system, and it comes up just to the bottom of a net. Here we are. And everything seems to be doing relatively good. I need to change the water. This has been together for a few days now. The roots don't look so great. That. But, uh, things are going to get pretty crowded, but this is keeping them alive for right now until I set this thing up more completely. Um, I'm going to eventually try to use this top container. Um, I think I might rig up something where I use both the little pump and an air pump together as a airlift. 